what happens if a plane runs out of fuel in the middle of the ocean? Well, it's possible that the plane might have run out of fuel. Just like cars need gas to run, airplanes need fuel to fly. But how could that happen? Shouldn't the pilots have made sure there was enough fuel before taking off? Sometimes, unexpected things can happen, like bad weather or strong winds that use up more fuel than expected. Or maybe there was a mistake in calculating how much fuel the plane needed. And that happened with Flight TS-236. It was a deadly situation that couldn't be described in words. But in this video, we tried to show you what actually happened that day and how they controlled the situation. So, let's dive into the incident. Flight TS-236 was a trip from Toronto to Lisbon, Portugal that took off on August 24, 2001. It had 293 passengers and 13 crew members on board. The plane was piloted by Captain Robert Pichet and First Officer Dirk de Jager. Captain Pichet had lots of experience with 16 to 800 hours of flying, while First Officer de Jager had 4,800 hours. The airplane they flew was an Airbus A330-243, which was just two years old. It had a registration number, C. Gitz, and was powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 772B-60 engines. These engines were powerful, capable of delivering 71 100 pounds of thrust each. When the flight left Toronto, it had more fuel than it needed, with 46.9 tons on board. However, about four hours into the flight, at 0438 UTC, there was a problem. Fuel started leaking from a broken fuel line connected to the right engine. This was a big issue. Then, at 0503 UTC, the pilots noticed strange readings on the engine's gauges. The oil temperature was low, and the oil pressure was high. These were signs that something was wrong with the engine. But because the pilots didn't know about the fuel leak, they thought the gauges were giving false readings. Captain Pichet even shared this idea with Air Transat's maintenance center in Montreal. They just told him to keep an eye on it. So the flight continued, not knowing the danger it was in. But soon, things would take a dramatic turn. At 5.03 UTC, which means around 5 in the morning, after flying for more than four hours, the pilots saw something concerning. They noticed that engine number two had a low oil temperature and high oil pressure. This was not a good sign. It was like the engine wasn't feeling well. But here's the tricky part. These readings were not directly showing a problem caused by a fuel leak. So the pilots didn't think the fuel leak could be the reason behind this. Captain Pichet, the main pilot, thought that maybe these readings were not accurate. He thought they might be false alarms or warnings. So, he shared his opinion with the Air Transat Maintenance Control Center in Montreal. They told him to keep an eye on the situation, to monitor it. It's like when your car's dashboard shows a warning light and you're not sure if it's a real problem or just a glitch. So they decided to keep flying and keep an eye on the engine. The fuel on board, FOB figures on their screens, showed that the fuel was decreasing much faster than usual. They also saw that the estimated fuel remaining at their destination was dropping, indicating they might not have enough fuel to make it there. To try and fix the problem, the crew transferred fuel from one tank to another, but unfortunately, they didn't follow the correct procedures. Instead of consulting their checklists, they relied on their memory, which led to fuel being sent to an engine that was already leaking fuel. As the flight progressed, the situation became more critical, the fuel was leaking out of the damaged engine at a rate of about one gallon per second. This caused the engine's oil temperature to drop and the oil pressure to rise, indicating serious trouble. Realizing they were in trouble, the pilots decided to divert the flight to Lodge's airbase in the Azores. They declared a fuel emergency and began the diversion process. However, things took a turn for the worse when one of the engines, engine no. Two, completely lost power due to fuel starvation. With only one engine left, the crew had to make a rapid descent to a lower altitude suitable for single-engine operation. Despite their best efforts, the remaining engine, engine no. One, also flamed out, leaving the plane powerless and forcing it to glide towards the nearest airport. As the plane descended, the crew faced numerous challenges. They had to rely on emergency backup systems to maintain control of the aircraft. 
and they were rapidly running out of time before they would be forced to ditch in the ocean. With the help of military air traffic controllers, the crew managed to guide the plane towards the airport. They executed daring maneuvers to reduce altitude and safely land the aircraft, despite the lack of engine power and other critical systems. In a tense landing, the plane touched down hard on the runway, but the crew managed to bring it to a stop with maximum braking effort. Despite the challenging circumstances, most passengers and crew members escaped with only minor injuries. The plane, however, suffered significant damage to its landing gear and fuselage during the landing. It was a miraculous outcome considering the circumstances, thanks to the quick thinking and skillful actions of the flight crew. They were safe, but it's a serious situation. If a plane runs out of fuel in the middle of the ocean, it can't keep flying. It'll start to descend and eventually crash into the water. This is really dangerous because there's no runway or place to land safely in the ocean. People on board would need to use life jackets and life rafts to try to stay safe until help arrives. It's super important for planes to have enough fuel and for pilots to plan their routes carefully to avoid this situation. It's a scary situation to imagine, but it's important to remember that airplane emergencies like this are very rare. Pilots and crew members train for all kinds of situations to keep everyone safe. And thanks to modern technology and communication systems, help can be on the way quickly in case something does go wrong. So, if you ever find yourself on a plane over the ocean and it runs out of fuel, just remember to stay calm, listen to the crew, and follow their instructions.